when I think of Warren and Chris, I think of this beautiful combination of um, toughness and resolve and drive and caring. And with the Hellman Fellowship, they took their love of young people and their own experiences as parents and translated that into something that is really special. With the Hellman Family Foundation Award, I was able to start my summer outreach program called Biochem Corps, which is an intensive seven week experience for research in my field of expertise, which is computational chemistry and biophysics. And so one of the reasons I wanted to do this was because we have um, a lack of women in the field and also a lack of diverse population. We started the program in 2012 and since then it's been going every summer. So this summer we just completed our fourth year and it's been a tremendous success. My work basically looks at the very large and very small parts of community organizing. So everything from youth and youth actions, youth behavior, youth culture, to social movements. Um, so the micro of the everyday on the street and the macro of historic change. I don't know if other Hellman recipients feel this way, but I think the biggest change in my academic life was actually the cultural change in my academic life. The cultural change in that for me was being able to imagine myself as a professor. Before that, you're sort of a, a researcher working away in your own little space, your own office or in the field, and you don't know if anyone even knows who you are. I began my academic career as an assistant professor at UC San Diego in the physics department in 1987. Like all junior faculty, I dove into my research while also balancing my teaching and my other university obligations. I received a startup package when I was hired, but as my funding diminished, I was having trouble finding other funders who were willing to continue the support of my research. What I needed was some additional funding to get my research to the next level where outside funders would be willing to take the risk to continue to support my research. This experience gave me the idea that other junior faculty were likely similarly struggling with funding their research and that perhaps my family's philanthropy could help. I talked to my parents about this, and this was the genesis of the Hellman Fellows Program. To sort of know that they thought of this at a very personal level from the experiences of their daughter, who is, my understanding, a chair of physics at Berkeley, that was always a very personal chord with me. There's no grant quite like the Hellman Family Foundation grant. There's no grant that allows you to simply be a thinker because the Hellmans, you know, Chris and Warren Hellman felt like there was a value in that and they felt like there was a value in not just any kind of research, but in the researcher. You know, Warren, as an investor, uh, he treated the Hellman Fellowship as an investment in people. To the people of the Hellman Foundation, I would extend my most sincere gratitude and thank you to them for allowing me an incredible opportunity to build something from the ground up where it was really sort of a personal dream of mine that I wasn't able to do before, that I was able to do because of their generous funding and um, open minds about how funds should be invested. I want to thank Chancellor Kosla and the UC San Diego community for recognizing the work of the Hellman Fellows Fund. I'm very proud of the Hellman Fellows, both the people and the work that we're able to support, and receiving this Chancellor's Award is a very great honor. My family and the Hellman Fellows Fund continue to be inspired and amazed year after year by the great work that is being done by the UC San Diego Fellows and by all your fellows across all the campuses. We are proud to be that funder that says, keep going, we believe in you, early in a faculty member's career. I'm particularly excited to be honored by UC San Diego, where my career and the entire Hellman Fellows program was started. Thank you so much for this honor. <laughs>